So I'd like to talk a little bit about what's involved in ultrasound scanning. A lot of people don't understand the different scans at different times in the pregnancy and what kind of information we get from them. So in early pregnancy, which is usually under 10, 12 weeks, what we find on, on the scan is we can see into the womb, we can see how many babies are there, we can make sure the baby is in the womb, the pregnancy is in the womb and not in the fallopian tubes, which is called an ectopic pregnancy, which can be a medical emergency. So we can see the babies in the womb, we can see how many babies, we can see that the heartbeats are there and we can confirm the pregnancy um, gestation by doing measurements called the crown rump length. It's also a time from 10 weeks on that people often choose to do a test called an NIPT test, which is non-invasive prenatal testing, where people are screening for Down syndrome, Edwards syndrome and Pato syndrome. And that test is based on the findings on a scan combined with a blood test which looks at risks for the baby. So that's what we call an early pregnancy scan. Then a first trimester scan is usually around the time you'd be going for your first visit in the pregnancy, and that's from 12 weeks on. Again, traditionally in that scan, we would have done the same thing, just checked the dates or whatever. But nowadays, more and more, we can see anatomy this early on in pregnancy. And 3D scanning has made a huge difference. Modern scanning machines have made a huge difference. So at 13, 14, 15 weeks, we can see the shape of the head, we can see the spine, we can see the limbs, and we can see most of the major anatomy. We still need at 20 weeks to do an anatomy scan, or what people call the 20-week scan. In a 20-week scan, we're looking at the physical um, structures in the baby. So we're looking at the shape of the skull, um, the brain, we can look at features within the brain, we can look at the face and see that the face looks normal, we can see the lips, we can see the heart, we can see the spine, stomach, kidneys and we get an overview of the anatomy of the baby. People often think that this scan is about diagnosing something like Down syndrome. Down syndrome babies can be completely normal and not have, they might have a soft marker on the scan but they may, not, they may have a normal anatomy scan. But the anatomy scan by and large is to make sure that there's no physical structure that we need follow up on. And then if we find something like that, we would refer on to a, a fetal medicine specialist. Or sometimes if it was specific for the baby's heart, we would refer on to um, a pediatric cardiologist, for example, babies might go, the woman might go to the coom in Dublin to be reviewed by the team there that come and work with Crumlin. So the major advantage of an anatomy scan, which is offered routinely to all people in University Hospital Kerry now, is that if there is something that needs to be dealt with at the time of the delivery or that will influence how we manage the delivery, that we know in advance and we can plan. So for example, if a baby had a problem with its heart, then that baby's interest would probably be better served delivering in Dublin if it was going to need surgery immediately afterwards. And the whole important thing about this is that scanning has become so good now that we can pick up so many things we didn't pick up before. The other reasons that we scan in pregnancy is to measure the growth of the baby, to look at the fluid around the baby, to see where the placenta is, the placenta, to make sure the placenta isn't what we call placenta previa, which is low lying ahead of the baby, to see where the placenta is if someone had a previous cesarean section in relation to the scar, so that, for example, if there was placenta accreta, we can, um, we can deal with that and plan for that in advance. Um, and then looking at the growth of the baby, babies kind of serial scans to make sure that they're growing steadily. This is particularly important in twins and in diabetic mothers and in women who maybe have a history of having small babies in the past that we need to make sure the babies are growing this time and you can plan delivery around that. And then later on in pregnancy, we look at the fluid around the baby to make sure that the placenta is working okay. And that can be an important scan as you come up to your dates, uh, your due date, or if you're going overdue. So scanning is a huge, huge part of um, pregnancy management now. And even in a low-risk pregnancy, your booking scan is important. Your 20-week scan is very important. Again, another scan that I feel is important is the 32-week scan, because if a baby's growth is 
just getting a little skewed either too big or too small that's often when it will manifest and I suppose a lot of people talk to us about the gender they want to know the gender of the babies from the scan realistically we say 17 weeks at least sometimes with 3d you'll see that a little bit earlier but by and large we would say 17 weeks is the earliest you'll see and you'll hear that result hopefully at the at the 20 week scan but not all babies actually oblige us but um, usually most of the time we'll manage to find that out so that's an overview of what um, ultrasound scanning in pregnancy is about ultrasound scanning in gynecology is becoming very very big and 3d scanning in gynecology is making ultrasound nearly as good as MRI scanning and in the States they would say they're almost equivalent for a lot of things so a lot of our patients who are coming for um, a gynae appointment for heavy periods or fertility or whatever will have a gynae scan almost 90% of the time it's part of the care that we offer them and it can replace maybe going to theatre for hysteroscopy in some cases it allows us to assess heavy periods postmenopausal bleeding so like I say ultrasound in women's health now is a huge part of what is um, done women need to know though that if they're coming for early pregnancy scans or gynae scans most of the time are transvaginal scans a transvaginal scan might sound a little bit scary but for most people it's actually easier than having a scan with a full bladder at eight or nine weeks and especially if someone's BMI is a little bit high or if their uterus is tilted backwards we call that a retroverted uterus it can be easier to see things on a transvaginal scan